what's going on, man? It's your boy Quad back in another video, man. Today, you know where we at, man. You know how we carrying it, man. We here. Future in line with the Red B, you feel me, man? So today, we're installing my lip. Uh, let me get a thumbnail. Installing the lip onto the car. I'm probably out of luck while I crack this box open type of shit. Let's see how it is. I put my I put my back seats back in. Um, I don't think I know. But I was trying to do these stars on my headliner. And it fell because of John. So everybody put L man in the chat. But um the front lip is here. Um let's see how this shit is. Cause I'm trying to drop my charger. I ain't trying to shit in my fucking so, uh, let's see what it came with. All right, it came with some screws. So, all right, so the box empty. <coughs> so, it came with some screws. I'm about to see. Just cracking with that motherfucker. Too. What? Damn. Hate when they take something real good. You got dinner. You know what I mean? You feel me? You gotta do all that just to get the instructions. God damn. Damn, eBay. Damn. Hold up. All right, so they got me. They gave me some 3M tape. Let's see. Let's see this is not a fucking instructions. It say clean the whole bumper lip with soap. Use the clean duster cloth to wipe up the surface. All right, I may do this shit another day. <laughs> I ain't going to care. <laughs> All right, let me let me let me get back to it. I'm 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 going to hit y'all up when the lip is on. And we're back. So we got the front lip on there. I was going to do it pink, but I just decided to keep it gloss black. And I'm just going to do take this off the SRT uh, logo soon. And I'm going to do the light up one. And then I'm going to get the new headlights. They're coming in the mail in like next two weeks. And then right here, I'm going to take this off and put 392 SRT. Um, and then in the back. Uh, so I bought this shit called Brake Cleaner. It got some of my headlight clean. I'm going to just wait till it's a little warmer outside because as y'all can see, literally, y'all see my hot ass dragon breath. You feel me? So, I'm going to a little bit warmer outside. I'm going to put the uh, heat gun on here and uh, get this off with the brake cleaner. It worked, but it, I just thought it didn't really have the best result because of how cold it is outside. And then I'm going to uh, take the SRT8 logo off the back and then take the charger logo off the back. And... um leave it as it is but uh we coming along so far man um i don't know if y'all can i don't know ah shit i ain't post a video but i did take the headliner on my car i'm gonna get stars stars installed and i'm gonna take this srt logo out put the uh different logo in and as you can see like my shit acting up fucking fans keep falling out but this whole inner this whole dash may get changed i'm not sure if i'm gonna get the dash plus the center console but um, I really, I'm pretty sure for sure, like 90% sure that I may just get the new outlining and they get a new cluster, but, um, y'all stay tuned for that, man. You feel me? But, uh, I'm actually about to go back in the crib and get more bolts because I got to make this sturdy enough. And then I was thinking about getting plastic dip and like spraying hair, but I don't want to fuck up anything, so I don't know. I might just leave it the same, but so far, so good. This is the the look so far. Running right now, we running the original SRT rims on there, which is 245, 45. Uh, then we have on the back, we have, uh, I believe these are 315s, if I'm not mistaken. 315 on the back, but, um, yeah, that's what we running right now. But, yeah, man, I'm about to go in the crib, get some more bolts, come out, bolt this bitch up so it can be strong. But so far, so good. I mean, it's the small things that matter. 
I'm gonna catch y'all when I'm booted up or when I'm underneath and I'm gonna show y'all how I booted it. I'm gonna clear y'all off real quick. All right, so installing this wasn't the hard part. Like, as far as like clipping the, the actual front splitter together, wasn't the hard part. So I'm gonna show you, I'm saying to uh actually put the spoiler together, AKA front, not spoiler, the front splitter, actually putting the front splitter wasn't hard. So I'm gonna get underneath and show y'all right now. So I got the car jacked up, or one of three bolts. But, uh, as y'all can see, you screw these bolts together, this part attach, and you screw them two parts together, this part is attached. But everywhere is pretty sturdy. I'm gonna put a bolt all the way back here. As y'all can see, all the way back there. I'm gonna put a bolt all the way over here. And I'm gonna probably put the bolt, last bolt in the middle type shit right here. But, uh, probably prop all up on the curve. Probably prop all up on the curve type shit. You feel me? So y'all can see me work, you dig me? You feel me? Y'all feel me, YouTube? So I can catch this action type shit. Oh. So we gonna put a bolt right here. <coughs> It's kind of weird how I like to work. I gotta like get all the way on the curve. Like, but again, no way. I get that screw when I get up. Whew. Let's put it hard right here. Uh, type shit, you feel me? So we're gonna put a bolt right here. Or maybe, let me see. Am I getting one back here? Right here. Boom. Got one back there. Oh, we're going to screw all the way up. Ooh. This shit is dirty. Boy. Well, not just to do this at home. I mean, I put suggestions going this outside. Definitely in the garage next time. But you know, we moving soon, so we ain't got the garage yet. We gotta work with what we got. Yeah. Feel me? You know, I screw. I'm gonna put like right under here. There's only one directly in the middle. I'm gonna put one right here. Wish the last screw fell over here. The only reason why I said that is because when you driving and wind get up under this motherfucker, wind get up up, wind get up under this motherfucker. So you don't want this jaw flying off, especially knowing this lip cost some fucking cheese. You feel me? All right, boom. Um, we gonna test drive it tomorrow because we got one, two, three. One, two, one, two, or oh, one, two. I probably need one more right here. Yeah, I need like one more screw right here. I'm gonna find one. Woo. But, um, we need one more screw on this side. I'm trying to have at least like three. on here yep got another screw so i want to have at least three up in there i want to have three in each section the reason why i say three in each section is because when get up under this you don't want this bitch you feel me and you don't want it to be like flabby so that's what we finna do so i'm gonna prop y'all back up again So, if I'm not mistaken, all three sides got three. Let me see. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. All right, so I'm going to have to put this one, like, right here. 
type shit, you feel me? And then try to get one more screw. I think I got one more in the crib. But I should, I probably should have some of my tool bag screws. I was saying, you always want to make sure, like, when you bolting shit on your car, it's secure. Like, you don't want to boot something in your car and it's not secure because then when you start driving, shit start to fly in, the brake get on that motherfucker, and then your front lip is here, there, and everywhere. Real talk. But, um, just the pieces from my headliner. I'm going to put this out of a duffel bag tonight. And I'm going to put in my trunk. Reason why, because when you're doing your headliner, you want to keep everything together type shit. You feel me? Like, you don't want to, you don't want to, um, start your headliner and putting the race lights in and, um, shit get lost and missing and screws and stuff like that. Bad enough, I think I'm going to have to get a new headliner. So, I might have to look around and see if I can find any Gen 2, well, Gen 7. Gen 7 charges with a sunroof because motherfucker John, when I was putting my motherfucking uh, roof on, this nigga decides, here, look, here go the reef light kit, you feel me? So, I'm going to have to do a little job on that, but, um, yeah, this nigga decides to, um, literally put the fucking ceiling up and let go the fucking ceiling. So it caused one of my clips to break. You feel what I'm saying? So I might have to get a whole new fucking sunrise, sunroof riser for that for the time being. But y'all stay tuned. Y'all stay locked in with that because, yeah, that's a, that's a whole nother fucking story. I'm honestly pissed off about that. But um, I think this shit should be cool. I'm only missing one screw. And from the looks of it, it looks pretty tight. So I'll let y'all know how I perform tomorrow in the POV. Um, I'm, just, I'm just recording this shit tonight to give y'all some quick little content type shit. Because if y'all haven't, <coughs> I dropped a video today about Thing, uh, 10 things I learned in 2023. Y'all go tap in with that. Y'all go like, comment, subscribe. I just feel like I got some good news tonight. And I wanted to, um, I got some good news tonight. And I wanted to just pick up the camera and, like, you know, give y'all some content. Because I was looking at my, uh, I was looking at my content spreadsheet on YouTube, like my analytics. Bro, November, I snapped. November. Bro, November, I at least posted like, bro, I'm gonna pop it up while I'm talking. Bro, November, November, I fucking snapped, bro. November, I at least posted like six to six to seven videos that month. I was dropping every week, like every week I was dropping a vid. So, you know, we try to get the 1K, so... We gonna start the new year off right by trying to do everything that we can to get there because, bro, I cannot wait to stop having to go so hard on YouTube. Like, I mean, not YouTube, but like in real life. Like, I cannot wait. And even with YouTube, bro, like, I can't wait till I get the 1K subscribers because what I noticed is once you hit that 1K peak, bro, Everything after that is like selling shit, bro. So I can't wait to hit that shit, bro. Because, bro, <laughs> bro, I hit 1K, bro. It's up, bro. You feel me? Like vlogs in there every day. You feel me? Like, bro, snapping, bro. Content gonna be goofy. Hit 1K, bro. We turn this Ford into a police informer car. Real shit, bro. Like, I'm snapping, bro. 1K, we throw some bags on the Malibu. Something, bro. Like, just snapping with the content, bro. So. <clears throat> and you know, you know how we got to do it, though. Before we, uh. Before I lay in one lock. I pressed the shit like a blue sight. 
10 times. But um, before we go, because we just installed this front lip. So far, I'm fucking with it. So far, I'm liking it. Um, I really wanted to do a pink lip, but it's cool. Um, I'm going to figure out what I want to do next. I probably do pink brimbos still. Pink brimbos with the black logo. You know what I'm saying? Just to do something new. You feel me? Uh, with the gloss black rims, but I'm going to give y'all boys a cold start. Because I ain't cold start this bitch in my, like, month of days. You feel me? So, I'm going to give y'all boys a cold start before we wrap this video up. Because, you know, I always got to give y'all boys some good, great content. So, I'm about to prop y'all up. Uh, prop y'all up. See y'all boys a proper cold start. I ain't got this that's on they shit like when it come to content they be giving y'all great content I feel like I, everybody that own Gen 7's got some work into this shit and I feel like I'm probably the only Gen 7 that don't got no shit done so I, I'm just trying to add little shit but I ain't gonna lie fuck with the setup setup go hard I'm about to turn the camera and uh, give y'all a little b-roll So if y'all made it this far in the video, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, slap a like on the video, turn on post notifications. I showed y'all how y'all bought the uh, splitter up. Let me give it come one. And um, I showed y'all how to, you know, bolt it up into y'all Gen 7's bumpers. Um, we'll get a little POV tomorrow. Drive in the car and say I uh, drive. That's if I drive it because we have some bad news. So this is why I said watch the video. All the way to the end because so I have the headliner out the head the headliner out the headliner's over here but um I I I don't know if I did something wrong so when I um so inside my car I'll take a step in the bed for this one so inside my car I noticed that my vent was coming out of the dash frame now that carbon fiber dash frame is not a real carbon fiber dash frame whoever had the car before me had that on and i want to take that out and put an oem on that boom 
But I'm going to do that when I get my Hellcat cluster. My Challenger Hellcat cluster. I'm going to put the Hellcat cluster and then get the OEM um, dash frame to go around. Whatever, 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 right? Boom. So I fixed the vent, but then I, I hit my head on the ceiling. And the dash read FCW. And it was like a lightning bolt. So I'm thinking, all right, it must be an electrical issue because the harnesses are out right now. The harnesses are hooked right now, too. So, man, then I know where my check is like, just come on. But I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, I just got this car to the shop a couple months ago. So, I don't really know if I'm going to give y'all POV tomorrow. I'm really kind of contemplating if I'm going to give y'all POV because, like, where I'm going is real far. Now, if I was going like, to my mom's crib and back home, that POV I wouldn't mind doing because I know, like, I got a destination that's close. I got a, an end point where I need to come back to is close. But where I'm going tomorrow is not close type shit. So, I don't know how I'm feeling. Like, depending on how I feel in the morning... I might do it. I might not because, like, right now the the, the charge is really in the construction. Like, that's how I feel. The second week of um, January, which is this month, um, I'll begin the headliner, restart up and all that, and re put in the car. Wow, bang! But in the same time, too, um, yeah, bro, I'm just like, um, this shit cooked me on the calm because it's like, bro, I just got this car at the shop. What what could be possibly wrong now? But I already told myself, like, once I get the ray flights done in my car, I did a front spinner, I'm not doing nothing else but diving in underneath that hood. Because I just feel like cosmetic of the car, like, the cosmetics is not a bad car. It looks good the way it looks. You know what I'm saying? The way, it, the way it is right now, all I probably need is a paint correction. That's probably it. But, like, you know, after that, like, once I get the ray flight done, that's it. I'm diving underneath that hood. I'm changing out. Um, first thing I'm doing is new spark plugs, tune-up. Second thing I'm doing is after the tune-up and new spark plugs and the oil change, I'm taking out that um that Canon intake and putting a course of uh, intake in. Then after that, I'm thinking about doing uh, catless, catless mids. I'm not sure. My homie, uh, John... Was mentioning that like I should do, go catless. Catless is basically gonna make the car louder. Um, so it just all depends. But I'm really hoping like when I take you on the journey of me moving, um, I could get a garage because I really want to be in my garage in my car doing work underneath the garage and the heat instead of being outside in the cold. Um, I think that's extremely ghetto. But at the same time, like you know, we move, we move, we all move. I'm gonna show you the process of that. And I'm also making serious about rebuilding my credit. So this channel really going to be like a vlog slash rebuild me. You feel what I'm saying? So if y'all have it, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. I'll be dropping them gems on y'all. Those who are older, you know, I'll be dropping gems on how to get Hellcats, how to get approved for homes. You know, um, you know, just a lot of things, man. I don't really want to speak too much because I have a vision board. And my vision board is like loaded. Like literally it's full to the max, to the brim. You feel me? So I'm going to be showing y'all a lot of shit. I'm going to be showing y'all a lot of things. So, you know, y'all just stay locked in. If y'all haven't turned on the post notifications, please do. Because I'm going to be showing y'all how to repair y'all credit, how to build y'all credit, how to get business funding, how to, how to you know, monetize. I'm really going to be doing a lot of stuff this year. Mark my words. That's your love. But, like, man, the reason why I feel so out of energy is because that car really blew my shit, bro. Like, I just got that shit out the shop, like, not too long ago. So it's like, just for that shit to happen again, it's like, bro, this shit fry me. I'm ready to go aftermarket parts, bro. Like, I, I didn't replace a bunch of OEM shit. I'm ready to go aftermarket, like, real talk. Because aftermarket is a little cheaper, and you get what you want. So um, I'll stay tuned, man. Gen 7, it's not down, but it's down. Um, I'm kind of scared to drive it, but I I mean, I won't know until I drive it. So, But it's like, damn, you drive it, shit go left. It's like, damn. I ain't got to, I mean, I ain't pay for AAA this month, I don't think, so I don't know. But, um, I'm going to just hit y'all up in the morning, man. It's your boy, Kwa. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch y'all in the next one.